Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is a little fun bonus video I have for you guys today. I don't know that I ever post two videos in one week and I'm trying to talk a little bit quiet because Mateo is in the next room sleeping. But yeah, this is a fun little video for you guys because I am collaborating with a company called Mom Inside and we are doing a fun giveaway for you guys. And this giveaway is specifically targeted to moms or mamas-to-be. And what we are going to be giving away is this. So Mom Inside was so nice and they sent me this beautiful faux leather diaper bag backpack. And we are giving away one of these babies, it'll look just like this, to one of you guys. And what I especially love about this one is that it's like two-tone brown. I think that that's so pretty. That's what sold me on this style was the two tones of brown that it has. And I am going to, first of all, this video is going to be about the giveaway. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys what I packed in my baby's hospital bag. I don't have my bags packed or chips or Mateo's, but I do have the baby's stuff ready to go mostly. There's a couple things I need to get yet that I just literally have not got done, but... I'm gonna show you guys the details of the diaper bag that we're giving away and tell you the details of how to enter the giveaway and then I'll get into what's in my baby's hospital bag. For the details on how to enter the giveaway, it's so, so simple. It doesn't even, yeah, you don't have to tag a bunch of people or anything like that. Um, all you have to do is follow Mom Inside on Instagram and subscribe to their YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and like this video, give it a thumbs up. And then lastly, once you've done all of those things, all you have to do is comment in the comments on my video here, your Instagram handle. So you do need Instagram to enter this giveaway just because it makes it really simple with contacting the winner. So once you've done all of those other things, just comment your Instagram handle and I will pick a winner from those comments. This giveaway lasts for five days. Starting today, it's going to end on Friday the 17th and I'm gonna have Mom Inside's Instagram and their YouTube channel linked down, down below for you guys. So that way it makes it super easy to enter this giveaway and I'll put all the instructions as well down in the description box so you don't have to, you know, try to remember everything now in the video. Okay, I'm going to show you the features of this diaper bag. First, I want to point out that it comes with its own changing mat, and it has two very large pockets in the front right here, and then also two large pockets on the side. It has this zipper closure, which would be perfect for like your phone or whatever. And I have to admit, you guys, I'm not a huge fan of the bright blue interior, but overall this bag is just too beautiful that it does kind of cancel it out so I decided to go with it. If I could choose, I would definitely choose a different color. <laughs> and then on the back here, it's also got another snap closure big pocket back here which would just be super handy like if you're at the zoo, whatever it may be, and you have valuables you wanna put in here, you know they won't get stolen because they'll be against your back. And it has these two little clips right here that can clip onto your stroller, which is super nice. Very comfortable straps, I will add. Something else I wanted to mention about the back is that it has this zipper right here and you unsnap the top and it literally becomes like a pouch that you can put it, attach it to your suitcase if you're traveling. You can stick it on your suitcase and it goes right in there. So that is amazing. Just an incredible feature that I've never seen on a diaper bag before. Moving on to the inside of the diaper bag. This is what she looks like, extremely spacious. You've got this flap right here. Um, you could stick a laptop, an iPad, whatever you want in there. It has this zipper along the back and then several pouches right here. And what's super nice about this is it has four insulated pockets right here that would be perfect for bottles or something that you wanna just keep cold, a water bottle. And then it has two more over on this side as well. Hope you guys can see this okay. And then it has another zipper pouch right here. And then this little thing is also super nice to clip your keys to or anything you don't wanna lose. You can just grab this thing and pull it right out and you got it right there. And there you have it. 
that is the whole tour of the diaper bag. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have packed in my house, in my baby's diaper bag, hospital bag. So for when we have Mateo, I only packed one suitcase and it had mine and Chip's stuff in it and the diaper bag. And that had the baby's stuff in it and some of my things in it as far as like book and my earphones, a couple things like that. So I won't be showing those things to you guys today, but I'm gonna be showing you guys mainly the things I packed for the baby, which honestly, it's really not a lot. I feel like I had more stuff with Mateo, but you kind of learn what you need and what you don't need. So my hospital provides all kinds of diapers and literally anything that you would need. So I don't take anything as far as that goes, as like diapers, rash cream, anything like that. But what I will be taking is two outfits plus some little white onesies and things. So I just have a pack of three of these little Gerber white onesies. These are in the size zero to three months, but these were purchased secondhand. So I'm pretty sure they were shrunk because they're like newborn size. So I'm counting them as size newborn, but it says three to six months or zero to three months. Oh, I don't have three of those. I just have two of those packed. So two little white onesies. And then for a gender neutral outfit, well, they're both gender neutral. I have this, this is size zero to three. It's a little soft knit sleeper with a zipper. This is from the brand Larkspur. Seriously, the best quality, so, so soft. I cannot wait to snuggle my baby wearing this. And if it's a boy, I'm gonna pair it with this little gray hat. And this is what I, I had these hats from Mateo. And then if it's a girl, I wanna get like a one of those cute little white, headbands i don't want to get one that's tight at all because i know a newborn's head is so moldable and you have to be careful with headbands and things so i want to try to find one of those more fabric thicker style white headbands so then she could wear this with a little white headband so i have this in a larger size but then i do have a, a newborn size outfit i have this little set this, this is so cute this is from Lulu. If you've never heard of Lulu, okay, they are expensive, like they're a splurge for sure, but oh my goodness, so soft, the best quality, they have like the best swaddles and everything. But it's a little two-piece set that's got the little buttons like this. It's kind of a, it's not green, but it's like a green gray. And I figured if it's a girl, she could also wear the white headband with this. It might look a little boyish in the hospital, but then when we get home, obviously she'll have girl clothes. Um, and then it comes with these little pants and the pants have little, <laughs> little footies on the bottom. So stinking adorable. One thing that I regret with Mateo that we didn't do is we didn't really get him dressed that much in the hospital. They had like a little white shirt thingy that he wore. And so that's kind of what he was in the whole time. And now looking back, I'm like, you know what? It's our baby. We're allowed to dress it if we want to in the hospital <laughs> and I want to. <laughs> But at the time we were always like, are we supposed to be dressing him because they're gonna need to come in and do like check on him every now and then? Will his clothes be annoying? And so we just left what they put on him. But this time I definitely want to get the baby dressed a little bit more. I think it'd be fun. So I'm taking those two little outfits, my onesies, and then I have two little sets of scratch mittens right here. And I use these a lot with Mateo. I don't know if I necessarily use them as much in the hospital, but it's something that I always just kept in my diaper bag. And so because of that, it just went along with me to the hospital, so. And then I have, so I showed you this little gray hat, but I also am gonna bring this little, kind of a mustard color one. And I just like all of these earthy colors together, so I thought, you know what, this will go with any of them, I don't really care. And then I also have a matching swaddle to go with that hat. I bought this really pretty set at a garage sale, basically brand new, and washed it and I'm very excited, it's super soft. I think with Mateo I took two swaddles and I definitely would have only needed one, so I'm only taking one this time. And lastly, the last couple items, I'm taking two burp cloths. I honestly can't remember if Mateo spit up very much in the hospital, but in general, he was a very spit up -y baby all the time. So taking two of these, these are so cute. They're like a soft, gauzy muslin material, and I can link them down below for you guys. Very inexpensive, they're from Amazon. And then I'm also taking two little different styles of pacifiers. I have no idea what kind this baby is gonna take, so I'm taking two different kinds. 
that's all that I'm bringing for the baby, but then I have a couple other things that I will pack in the diaper bag for me. I'm taking a Perry bottle, um, some tux pads, and things like that. I know the hospital provides those things, but these are things that I just, it's my own personal preference that I decided that I wanted to bring my own. So, that is what I'm packing in the diaper bag. It's, I know this diaper bag can hold a lot more stuff than that, but... I figured I'm not taking too much stuff to the hospital and then when we, when we get back from the hospital, this one is honestly going to be so nice because, so this was my old diaper bag and I still like it, but it shows up a lot more orange than it is in real life, but it's just not big enough for two kids. And I was kind of thinking, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And then mom inside reached out to me about this collaboration and I was like, this is perfect, an answer to something I didn't even pray for, but an answer to prayers. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little giveaway bonus video. What's my baby's hospital bag? And I will try to link things down below for you guys if I can. And like I said, I'll put all the details for the giveaway down in the description box and I'll try to make it as easy for you to enter as possible. Do not forget to check that out. I'm super excited about it and I'm very excited to gift one of these to you guys. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week. A great weekend, I should say. All right, I'm going to wrap this up and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.